you must have heard of the World Cup happening now. If not you have probably been living under a rock or well, you are not into football. Anyway today we are going to do some inpinting using mage dot space. On a photo of a World Cup player from Brazil. If you need some clarity on how mage dot space works you can check description. I have provided links to earlier videos. So let's get on with it. First of all we need to assign the image by opening the image to image tab here. So the player we pick is one of Brazil's most prolific players in the World Cup. It's Richarlison. You might know him from his two goals against Serbia a few days back. Now at the bottom we have background and foreground automatic inpinting options. Let's try background first. You can see it's selected the background. Now let's try the foreground. See, the foreground is selected. The selected area will be changed according to your prompt. The final option is custom inpinting. You have a brush and you can adjust its size. The the area you define by your brush will be changed. So like this you can paint. Inpinting best works when you want to replace objects or large areas. So let's select the background. And type in our prompt a football stadium. So this should replace our blurry background with a football stadium of some sort. Yeah so it looks pretty good. You can also try inpinting with some styles. Let's add an artist style say Greg Rutkowski to the prompt. See how the style reflects. It looks less realistic as we know Rutkowski is a fantasy style painter. And some glow has been added around the player as well. That's expected. Ok let's keep aside the stadium. And try entering FIFA World Cup 2022. Let's see what comes. Hey that's pretty good. Even a football was generated and you can see the words FIFA. The numbers are jumbled but that's expected from an AI model. Anyway so that's how you can utilize this inpinting feature. Feel free to try out the other inpinting options like foreground and custom brush inpinting as well. And don't forget to watch the FIFA World Cup too. Lastly I have included the link to the image in the description too. Just to confirm that no copyright infringement is intended. So that's about it for now. Have a good day.